Welcome to Radford University's video tutorial on how to create a classroom response system using the iPod Touch in combination with Google Docs. In this video, you'll learn how to create an assessment within Google Docs, send it to your students via the iPod Touch, and then collect and display the results of that quiz immediately in your classroom. This video is meant to provide step-by-step -step instructions and you can pause the video at any time in order to complete the necessary steps on your computer. So let's get started. The first step is you want to open up your Gmail or Google account. If you do not have a Google account, you need to refer to the link provided on your screen right now, which provides step-by-step -step tutorials on how to set this account up. Assuming you have an account, you sign in to your Gmail account. And what you'll see is your Gmail that's provided, as well as links to other services provided through your account. We are going to click on Documents. In Documents, you have the ability to create documents, spreadsheets, and presentations. For this tutorial, we're going to need to create a new spreadsheet. And as you can see, I have several here that I've already created but we want to create a new one. So we click on Create New and select Spreadsheet. Here we have a spreadsheet and this is where we're going to set up our quiz and then be able to store our answers and eventually graph our results. First thing you want to do is click on Share and here you'll have a window that will drop down and you can name it. In this case I'm just going to name mine Quiz Example and click OK. We then want to start setting up our quiz itself. So I'm going to click on Form and select Create a Form. Here you'll see the template that allows you to start building your quiz out. I'm going to keep my name as Quiz Example and write some easy instructions such as Read Carefully and then I'm going to start coming down into this sample question template provided by the program. So again, I can title my question, I'll just say this is math question one, and the text itself I'll say two plus two. I can choose my question type, and here you'll find seven different types of questions, ranging from text all the way to grid. In this case, I'm gonna make a multiple choice question, and I'm gonna fill out the different answers. 2 plus 2 equals perhaps 2, 3, 4, and so on and so forth. You'll notice that as I set this up, I can make this a required question. I also have other functions here, such as the edit, copy and paste, or duplicate, which may be useful if you want to use it again, and then trash. Once I'm done with my question, I hit done. And then I can either continue building items using the sample question templates provided by the program, or I can come up and add a new item by selecting Add Item, and again choosing from the question types provided. Now, once your quiz is built, you're going to want to provide it to your students. There's two ways to do that. You can email the entire quiz to your students, assuming they have email accounts, by simply clicking on Email This Form, and then filling out the different email addresses of your students. You can have the option of including the email, or including the quiz in the email itself, or you can deselect that and just provide a link. We found that to have the best results. And then you click on Send, and it'll send it to your students. The other way to share it is to click on More Actions and select Embed. What this will do is provide you with code that you can actually copy and paste into your uh, web page editor and have it actually displayed through an existing web page, such as your classroom web page or the school web page. Whether your students access it via email or a website, they will use the iPod Touch and access the internet through Safari. If they choose email, they can click on the email and then follow the link provided that will take them directly to the quiz. 
quiz can then be filled out using the form provided. Tap on the field to enter your name, and you can fill out multiple choice as well as the other question types we reviewed previously. Once the students are finished filling out the quiz, they click on Submit. And then the answers will immediately start to populate the accompanying spreadsheet. As students answer, their individual responses are recorded and time-stamped right into the spreadsheet. Although you as the teacher can see the individual scores and answers, the scores are not made public. And when you graph and display the answers to your class, the students can only see the compiled class responses. To graph the answers and responses from within the spreadsheet, you're going to want to click on Form, and the drop-down menu will provide an option to show summary of responses. You can use the resulting graphs to make your students' thinking visible while leading a discussion with the class about their understanding of different ideas within the quiz. You provide feedback, and the students can reflect and revise okay, understanding so if necessary. You can then remediate, reteach, or move on based upon mastery. Okay. This is an example of formative assessment. If we use research on learning as a framework, we can see that this use of the iPod Touch as a response system enhances the assessment-centered component, which is critical to creating an effective learning environment. Teachers in an assessment-centered environment make student thinking visible, provide frequent feedback, and allow for student reflection and revision. Through Bloom's revised taxonomy, we can see the students are using lower-order thinking skills such as recalling and remembering in this example. However, using these same tools, teachers can design more interactive and complex activities. In this video, you learned how to create an assessment in Google Docs, present it to your students via the iPod Touch, and collect and display the results immediately. If you have any questions or ideas about how to use the iPod Touch in the classroom, please send us an email using our contact information.